Okay, so I am going to attempt to paint my hitchhiker. And my husband informs me what I will need is a half inch wrench and a screwdriver. So we're going to try this. I've taken off the bobbins and I've set them aside and now we're going to go. And this was the scariest part for me so I thought I would videotape it and that way I can remember how to put it back together. There wasn't much to that because it wasn't very tight. So there is that and a washer and now I can pull that out and set the foot down. Do I need to do that one? Just the wing nut on the back, I think. Okay, and then there is a wing nut on the back. Off. Push the bolt through. If it pushes through. Nope. Okay, turn it around. It might be threaded. Now I'm going to undo this. This is all pretty much trial and error. Dave, the maker of these, has seen this, he's probably going, no, stop! That came from the back. I don't know why it's there, but it's there. And this is pulling a big screw. Through. Okay, so my husband just stopped me because I was apparently screwing it up. But we pushed the wheel back so it wasn't spinning anymore and pulled this out and it's a very long carriage bolt. And on the other side, there is a washer and a piece of leather to protect that. So it goes in between there. So it goes like this. And then it goes back on. So we're going to set those aside now that I have videotaped where they go. So now this is off. And to paint it, I think we'll be able to paint it like it is. And we'll just be very... Ooh, that comes off too. So there's a little thing that looks like a bullet casing mm -hmm. on there. Those don't come off and it's kind of greasy. I got this used, so I'm going to clean it up really well. I'm taking off these parts and I'm going to put them over here because, yeah, I don't really need them right now. And I think that's as far as I'm going to tear it down because I'm going to be putting uh, painting on the wheel and the back side here. So I think I'm good for the moment. I'm going to clean it all up and then I'll do the next part. Go ahead and pause it. Okay, so I have taken a magic eraser, isn't that gross, Ooh. to around the side. I've also taken it to the other side where this ring was really prevalent. It's still a little damp, you can kind of see right there. Um, but I took it to that. I also took it to the foot, which looks much better, even though wet. And the handle up here was kind of gross, so I took it to that as well. And I just wanted to take a minute to point out the things that I'm going to be using. Uh, besides the magic eraser, I'm going to be using um, a fine grain um, sanding sponge. I'm going to sand it a tiny bit before I put my thing, my uh, decals on. Give me that. Hang on. Sorry, my daughter ran off with an integral part of my process. Um, 
the pencil I used to kind of, I had little uh, drawings on here that were just like ideas and I took those off with the eraser. And I'm going to use this over top of um, my acrylic paint, which is here. I'm just using plain acrylic paint and my friend's going to paint it for me. I have paint brushes. I have graphite paper, which is um, the same as carbon paper, and I'm going to be, that's, um, after the sanding, that's my next step. So I'm going to be putting these decals, aren't they pretty, onto the wheel, and then um, that way I'll have a template to paint with. Okay, so on to the next part in a few minutes. Okay, so I did a very quick light sanding of the spots that I'm going to be painting or tracing onto, um, which is basically the front of the wheel. And I'm going to have something here, here, and here, which is on the back of the wheel, along with the name of my wheel, which I have to erase and take off and work with yet. But um, the next pick part is going to be tracing which I will show you when I'm done and then the painting will probably be in a different uh, video. Okay this is more of a note to self. I have taken off my ratios and put them in my bag along with this washer which came from the bolt right there. So just to let myself know what's going on. Okay, so I have my carbon paper taped down and then I taped my uh, pictures that I want to use on top of them on the back of my wheel. And now I had trouble thinking of what I could use to use as like a tracer. I'm brilliant. Double pointed needle. How cool is that? It'll be perfect. Okay, now I'll show it to you when I'm done with these. Okay, so I have them traced on to the back of my wheel where they're going to go. So the next part we'll be painting and we will see that in a little bit. He's also going to have hats going up, but okay, well, I'll see you later.